Engine mounting can go one of two ways, easy or a little challenging, and all that depends on your frame style. An old style beach cruiser frame will more than likely be an easier fit for your engine because of the consistent tube diameter and center crank position. If your bike is in this style, mounting the engine is self-explanatory and is a simple setup. Newer styles generally have a larger down tube diameter, a larger top tube diameter, or forward pedal and crank positions. For this demonstration, we picked a bike with all three styles. To combat larger down tubes, the engine kit comes with a universal U-mount. To combat forward pedal and cranks, you have to purchase and install the JNM vibration motor mounts. If you have both styles, a large diameter down tube and forward pedal and cranks, you need both the vibration motor mounts and the heavy duty universal U-mount. If you only need to install the universal mount, you first must prep the engine. Step 1. Remove the front engine mount studs. You can either use vice grips or the two nut method to remove it. The two nut method requires two threaded nuts with the top one and the bottom one threaded together and tighten up as tight as possible between them. Then take an open wrench and torque the bottom nut to start removing the stud. Once removed, place the universal mount over the threads and install the bolts that came with the universal mount assembly. And that's it! Universal mounts are pretty easy to install overall. If you, however, purchased our DIY engine biking kit combo, most of them include the JNM vibration motor mounts due to the four pedals on the beach cruisers we carry. To install these, remove the front and rear mounting studs using the same method as mentioned earlier. Two, replace them with the extended mounting studs from the kit. Three, thread the rubber mounts and you're done. Go install it on your bike. For this bike, we are encountering both issues, so to solve it, Install the JNM vibration motor mount, position it on the bike the way you want it mounted, and then take the HDU mount, remove one of the two U brackets, and install it on the bike like so.